this beautiful Thursday afternoon on the afternoon business show with Regina this um, beautiful day the 28th day of the month of October 2021 it's stock market report on your number one business radio and to take the stock market report today is uh, it will be Mr. Charles Fakura and he's in the studio with me this afternoon to take us the stock market report Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Shimo. It's a very hot afternoon outside there. <laughs> so, from um, walking from office where I traded to the studio, it was quite the temperature was quite uh, high. But however, it was a bright trading day for everybody, and I think that reflected in the trading numbers that we are seeing now. Okay. Most apologize for starting a little bit late. But on in our studio right now is about sixteen after three. That is the time for the stock market report. The ASI which measures the performance of the market as a whole added zero point four one percent to close at forty one thousand nine hundred and sixty one point one four basis points. When the closing on sounded, the total number of shares that the exchange adds was 559 million units of shares valued at about 4.4 billion Naira in over 4,590 deals. Looking at the performances today, the NGS 30, which is that index that measures the performances of the 30 most capitalized and liquid equity on the NGS platform, had 0.53% to close in the positive territory. The insurance sector was, however, negative as it lost 0.21% to close in the Southwest Territory. The consumer goods sector, industrial goods sector, oil and gas, and of course the banking all closed in the positive territory, adding 1.47%, 0.1%, 0.19%, and of course 0.67% respectively. Moving on straight to the gainers, topping that chart today. Of course, I would say there are three, three equities there. UPL added 10% to close at 198 cover. Guinness Nigeria added 10% to close at 33 Naira. Cadbury added 10% to close at 8 Naira 80 cover. We also have Heiko added 9.71% to close at 1 Naira 13 cover. Nigerian breweries also made that list. Adding 6.37% to close at 54 Naira 25 cover. Moving on straight to the decliners chart, topping that chart today is Mansard losing 6.02% to close at 2 Naira 34 cover. Japal Gold lost 4.44% to close at 43 cover. Codville also made that list, losing 4.35% to close at 44 cover. We also have Federal Government Sukuk Bond 2025 Series 2, which lost 3.85% to close at 100 Naira. Mutual Benefits made that list of losers, losing 3.45% to close at 28 cover. We also have name insurance losing 2.50% to close at 1 Naira 95 cover. In the news today, Glasgow Smith Lime financial report for Q3 2021 got to the market. Glasgow Smith Lime Consumer Nigeria published a third quarter report for the period ended 30th September. 2021 reported a turnover of 16.452 billion 
Naira trade being marginally up by 0.03% compared to 16.447 billion turnover reported the previous year. The company declared a profit after tax of 122.699 million Naira for the nine months period, down by 71.75% from 434.321 million reported the previous year. Any space share for the period under review stands at 10 cobo, down by 71.75 from the EPS of 36 cobo achieved the previous year. At the share price of almost 7 naira, the, the P ratio of Glasgow's pipeline stands at 68.23x with any yield of 1.47. So if you are an investor in um, that good smith line i think um, you can begin to be looking at talking to your stock broker as to whether you can increase your portfolio or you increase your take or decrease your take depending on your investment objective thank you all right thank you very much mr charles for that report and the news on the stock market today uh, we will be going on a very short break and after which we would be back for health and wellness on your number one business Investors radio. education. Okay, we will have investors education. All right, just a very quick break and we will be back. Don't go anywhere. It's still Brunswick Radio, your number one business radio. <laughs> 